It's been a while since I've posted anything in the way of video about air cannons, but that doesn't mean I've given up on them over the past couple of weeks. Rather, I've been working on some new things, like this 25 caliber BB rifle, extremely rough prototype that's sitting at the front of my very messy workbench right now. This uh, 25 caliber steel BB gun has a 36-inch uh, barrel on it right now. Steel barrel. And let's zoom in a little bit and take a better look. As you can see, there's some electronics on here. A solenoid valve and a QEV. The QEV is the main firing valve that releases the air from the chamber to the barrel. This QEV is piloted by a small 24 volt solenoid valve. The little red button on the hand grip is the trigger. This triggers a 555 based one shot circuit, as it's called that sends a pulse to a big MOSFET, I'm using an IRFP260, that controls the FET. Power for the gun is supplied by a pair of uh, LiPo batteries normally used on uh, RC aircraft. I have two 3-cell 12-volt packs wired in series, so I have ground plus 12 volts to operate the 555 circuit, and plus 24 volts so that the FAT can drive the solenoid with 24 volts. This potentiometer that I've just panned over to and is now a sender screen with no knob on it, just the shaft, this sets the pulse width from too short to operate the valve, to so long that the entire uh, air tank is uh, dumped by the QEV in one shot. If I use a setting in between, I can get three to five shots, if I want, off one uh, charge of air. Although very rough and ugly looking, since I just came up with the design, this does work flawlessly, and it'd certainly be worth further development. Maybe I put the 555 and the batteries inside the hand grip rather than just taping them to the gun as an afterthought. Layout could certainly done, be done better. You know, version 2 of this could be quite interesting. And, uh... It shoots at 650 to 700 feet per second right now, quite reliably. Accuracy? Well, with the 36-inch barrel, it's holding inside a 3-inch circle at 10 meters with the, the crappy aluminum sights I have on it. Uh, no scope yet, but I'll get there with the scope. Well, that's all for now on this one. This is my second rifle type 25 caliber BB air cannon that I've made over the past little while. This one does have a proper uh, wooden stock since there's a wood shop as well as a metal shop here. I can make up a uh, wood stock from pine very, very quickly. So I whipped one up, uh, believe it or not, with good tools. This pine stock only took about an hour and a half to uh, fully shape and have the uh, air gun parts fitted to it. This particular uh, air rifle type air cannon has a small brass piston valve, which I've zoomed in on, sender screen here. In front of it, that brass sleeve is a breech cover, so the 25 caliber BBs can be loaded at the breech and the cover slid back. 
to pile up the piston valve, I built a small hammer valve out of some scrap brass fittings. Then I built a uh, spring-operated hammer and uh, trigger and trigger guard assembly. This particular air gun was designed to run off 125 PSI shop air. I just use it for plinking in the shop when I want some amusement. So the uh, air hookup is at the very front of the uh, stock here. So I just hook a thin air line on and uh, plink with this uh, little rifle uh, attached to the compressor. Now this isn't any uh, super powerful uh, little homemade air gun, but it does deliver around uh, 375 feet per second. That's good enough for plinking in the shop. If I want power, well, I'll pick up the 750-odd foot per second one that I showed in the previous clips. Well, that's all for now on air cannons, but there'll certainly be more in the future, uh, including a detailed how-to video uh, coming up on how to make a high-pressure air system from an old compressor from a refrigerator. I've just been given an old refrigerator, so I'm going to get it over to the shop here within the next little while, and I'm going to do a detailed video on how to make your own high-pressure air system from an old refrigerator. That should be interesting. Well, that's all for uh, now, I guess, so, well, Thanks for watching, and there'll be more to come.